Hi everyone, welcome to Rockin' Robin Cooks. Today's recipe, I'm grilling up some king salmon and I'm gonna to top it with a nice, beautiful wine and butter sauce, really delicious. And I'll tell you, this recipe comes together very, very quickly so you can make it any day of the week. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. So I like to go over the ingredients with you so you can see what's in the recipe before we even start. So first off we have our salmon. I'm using king salmon. I like the king salmon because it has the most fats in it as opposed to sockeye which is a little drier fish but the king salmon is number one in my book and I always try to buy wild. I like my fish wild. We'll need some uh, olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. Now for our sauce we're going to be using some white wine. I use some Sauvignon Blanc here. We'll need some sour cream a little bit of organic butter, a bit of sugar, some fresh lemon juice, a little bit of lemon zest, and a little bit of parsley for garnish. So before I start cooking, I just wanna go over something that I don't usually mention in videos, but I thought I would today as a tip to make your cooking experience much more enjoyable, whether you're a beginner or uh, somebody even more experienced. Now, what I wanna tell you is that lay everything out like I've already showed you with all the measurements of all my ingredients already you know, portioned out and ready to go. Now you can see here, I have my tongs ready for my salmon. Uh, depending on what I'm gonna use, I might need the spatula. I've got my grill pan sitting here on the stove ready to go. Now for my sauce, I have my other pan sitting right here. Uh, and everything is lined up and ready to go so that I'm gonna be much more efficient in my cooking. Um, everything's ready to go. It's gonna be more enjoyable and I can focus on the cooking aspect of it. And, and it's gonna turn out, your recipe's probably gonna turn out better. So that's just what I wanted to share with you just before we get started. My salmon is about a half an inch thick and that's gonna take about four to six minutes total time to cook. So I'll turn it over probably at about three minutes or maybe even two and a half minutes per side. If you, you know, so as a rule of thumb, uh, if you know, for every inch thick of your salmon, um, it's gonna take about eight minutes on average, okay? So I'm gonna start with my sauce first. I'm gonna take my wine and I'm gonna place it in my pan and we're gonna cook this down for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna simmer it for about 10 minutes. So we'll bring that up to a simmer. Now, why are we doing that? That's just to help the alcohol to evaporate, you know, cook out of it, and then uh, we're gonna boil this down or simmer it down for, you know, like to half of its volume, and then you're left with that nice wine flavor. Our wine has been simmering now for about eight minutes. I'm ready to add the sugar, so I'm gonna pour that in and stir that up until it dissolves. Then we'll add the lemon juice. And I'm going to get that little seed out of there that fell in. Okay, I'm going to let this go for about a minute more. Bring this back up to a, a little simmer, and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. So while the wine is simmering, I'm going to prepare the salmon by just putting a little bit of olive oil on it. And I'll just rub that in. This will help uh, keep it from sticking. And then I'm going to salt and pepper my salmon. And that's ready to go. So now I'm gonna put my flame on my grill pan and get that hot, because we want that to be hot before we put the fish on it. All right, so here's our sauce. I'm gonna turn the heat off and add the butter. Now I, I chopped up my butter into small pieces so that it would melt easier and quicker. So I'm just gonna let that melt and mix in. Now that the butter's melted, I'm gonna add the sour cream. And you just wanna stir this until it all gets combined. So take a, a whisk if you need that um, to blend in the sour cream until it's nice and smooth. And you can always turn the heat on to low if you need to warm it up again. Now I'm gonna taste it for how sh you know sweet it is. We can add just a little bit of sugar if it's a little too tart. Depends how you like it, guys. And then just whisk in a little more sugar if you need to. And then the last thing is just a little bit of lemon zest. It's nice to add those little lemon oils to this. You just need a little bit. And then just stir that in. Just keep that warm until we're ready to cook up in our fish and we're good to go. All right, so I'm gonna lay the fish in here, skin side up. And I'm gonna turn my temperature to medium low. 
So we're at two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn this over. Looks beautiful. Uh, give that another, oh, I'd say two, two and a half minutes, and we'll be done. All right, guys, our salmon is done. There we go. And I got my sauce here. Everything's ready to go. Let's chop up a little bit of parsley and use that as a garnish on top. Of course, I always think that the sauce really makes the dish, and I think this, this really fits the bill. I'm just gonna pour some right over the top. It will thicken as it cools a little bit. I got inspired to make this. I went out to a Mexican restaurant and um, had their salmon. Never had this dish before there, and um, it was like fantastic. I'm like, I, know, I gotta know how to make this at home. So I asked the waitress, you know, what's in it? And she told me, you know, wine, butter, sour cream, and that was it. So I just figured it out. And I am very pleased with the results. All right, let me take a little taste. I'm gonna tell you what that tastes like. Let me get that sauce in there. That is delicious. That sauce has a nice tangy, citrusy flavor to it with the lemon and the wine. And I tell you, it's just, it's really delicious, guys. I hope you'll try it. I love it. I love sharing it with you. And I hope you guys will share it with people you know that might enjoy it. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, I have a button for you below the video. You can click that. There's one on the screen here. You know, subscribe. You'll be notified whenever new videos come out every week. And we'd love to have you. So thanks again for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.